Hey crafty friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So my last video I mentioned that I was getting an Amazon haul and that I wanted to share something with you guys. And so I did get it in yesterday and um, I kind of played with a little bit of it. I wanted to see how well it would work before I did the video. So let me show you what I got. Um, here a couple weeks ago I had ordered this kit which is a wax seal kit and you get um, the little heat gun or the glue gun wax gun you get the little silicone thing to where you know you can stamp down into that you also get these little sticky things to make all of your wax seals sticky you get stem sticks of the wax you get some gold foil you get some um, gold glitter some silver glitter which the silver glitter came open and made a huge mess <laughs> you get a stamp um, and then a silver pen and a gold pen <clears throat> so that's what I had gotten and I've had this for a while and I hadn't played with it but um, I don't remember what I was on Amazon looking for but I came across a couple things that I thought were really cool so let me share those with you so keep in mind I had bought this so when I was surfing I also came across two things that I thought wow that could really you know um, change how I do uh, wax seals now mind you I have the gun and then and I have the sticks which actually worked pretty perfect I was pretty um, impressed with that but I also came across this because I have tons and tons like I have this is nothing I have tons of these little the little wax beads and so I have a lot of these that you know I can't put in the gun obviously so we're going to use them but I came across this and I thought this was really cool and it's called oops sorry it's called an electric furnace and its purpose is obviously um you plug it up and it heats up it comes with the little um spoon the little wax spoon and it sits down in the heating well and so we are going to try i have not tried this out this is the only product i haven't tried out i got it last and i just didn't have time so i did it i did some of these the traditional way you know just heating them i use my heat um tool instead of using an open flame and um, and one more thing that I got that was really cool, and I'm going to move these off of here. I've never seen this before, and I don't even remember how I stumbled across it. I must have went down some wax seal rabbit hole. But this thing is really cool. Check this out, you guys. So you get the little silicone pad, but you also get two little molds so that you can put your wax down in there, and you press down into it, and you can get um, a nice design. And I thought that was really cool because one thing I hate about wax melts are how like crazy or wonky they can get. But these seem to, and I, I played with them a little bit, not a lot. So like I, there's probably a learning curve to these, but man, for $10, you get the mat and the two little, um, molds. And I'm thinking about ordering another one so that I have, um, a, you know, two of each mold. Anyway, so I made a few. Now, this one was the traditional way with the old, um, you know, just heating it up with a different heat source. So, this was not with the wax gun, not with the gun. This was just the, the normal way. This one was right out of the gun. So, these were the old way of doing it, which they still look pretty cool. Like I said, it's just going to take some practice. This is with the gun. All of these in this color were with the gun because, um, it, you know, this color came with it. So, I did several because, it, like I said, I wanted to play around with it. Let's see how, you know, well this works. And I think it works pretty well. And with a little practice, I may be able to get me some, like, really nice, perfect wax seals. So, I'm probably going to have to order me some more of the little, um, the sticks but I, like I said I have so many of these that I want to use them so hence why I bought the a little furnace because that makes life a little bit easier um, that is the one thing I hate about the doing the wax melt is heating the wax um, the rest of it's not so bad but I thought this turned out I mean they turned out not bad at all for somebody who's never used one of these little contraptions and I don't do wax seals a lot but I have a lot of them and I just ordered a ton more from Allie so um, I got all excited about getting these items and I ordered those so anyway I can't wait to use this and this is a nice big wide and uh, deep spoon so 
Um, this little spoon is so small. And then I have another one that is small and it's really shallow. So I'm thinking this one's going to work out a lot better. I don't like using the open flame because of the soot. It just really bugs me. So um, I, I had to figure out a different way to be able to do this. But I think this is cool. This thing was pretty inexpensive. I will, um, I will link all of these products that I got from Amazon below. So that way you guys can check them out. But I wanted to share that with you because, you know, if you're struggling like me with these wax seals and you think they're a really cool idea and you want to play with them, you just don't, you know, you don't like the process. Um, I think this is going to change things up just a little bit. But anyway, wanted to share that with you guys. And I will have another couple hauls because I have gotten in one of my paper orders from Frank's, um, the Simple Stories collections, the new collections, and they're gorgeous. Um, I can't wait to play with them. And I got them just in time because I'm going to be doing a um, another YouTube, YouTube hop and it is going to be spring or Easter themed. So that'll be cool. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys this goodness and I'll be back later. Until then, happy crafting.